Hi, in this video, I will be teaching you how to create graphs in RStudio. Before we start, you must first download the sample dataset. The link is in the description below. After downloading the data, let's upload this into RStudio. First, open RStudio and go to File, New File, and R script. Then, in the source window, type the code data1 read.csv file.choose open close parentheses comma header equal True. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Choose the file and we're done. With this, the dataset is now stored in Data1. To view it, click the object in the Environment or History window. The details about the dataset was presented in the previous video. So kindly check that out. Using this, let's create bar chart, pie chart, histogram, and scatter plot. First, we start with a bar chart. A bar chart compares different categories by using individual bars to represent the tallies for each category. The length of a bar represents the amount, frequency, or percentage of values falling into a category. The code below allows us to generate a bar chart in RStudio. Object 1 represents the column that contains the data of your variable. You can set the title of the graph by replacing title of the chart. XLab allows us to set the label for the x-axis and YLab is for the Y axis. Let's try to create a bar chart using the sex variable in data1. To do that, type the following code. Bar plot, open parentheses, table, open parentheses, data1, dollar sign, sex, After the first close parentheses, we type comma, then main, equal sign, apostrophe, type the title in between, that is sex of the respondents, after the apostrophe, type comma, then xlab, equal sign, another apostrophe, we type the x-axis label, that is x, we move forward, type comma, y lab, equal sign, apostrophe, and we type the y-axis label, that is frequency. Highlight the code, and press Ctrl Enter. In the Plots window, the graph will appear. You can right-click the image to save or copy the graph. You can customize the color of your bar chart by adding the call argument within the code. For instance, you want to change the color to blue. Simply add, after the apostrophe, call equal sign apostrophe blue highlight the code and press control enter and notice the bar chart will change its color you can customize this further such as adding multiple color to each bar but it will require more arguments in the code for now let's settle with this 
I encourage you to pause the video and create a bar chart for age. Name the graph as age of the respondents, change the x and y axis, and try changing the color to green. To do that, simply type the code. Bar plot. Open parentheses. Table. Open parentheses. Data one. Dollar sign. Age. Press the forward key. Comma. Main equals inside the apostrophe, type the title that is age of the respondents. Move forward, xlab equal sign apostrophes type age forward ylab equal sign apostrophe, type frequency, forward, comma, type call, equal sign, apostrophe, and green. Highlight the code and press control enter. If you were not able to see the graph and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. Next, let's try to create a pie chart. A pie chart uses parts of a circle to represent the tallies of each category. The size of each part, or pie slice, varies according to the percentage in each category. The code below allows us to generate a pie chart in RStudio. Object 1 represents the column that contains the data of your variable and you can set the title of the graph by replacing title of the chart. Let's try to create a pie chart using the sex variable in data1. To do that, type the following code. pie open parentheses table Open parentheses, data1, dollar sign, sex, forward key, comma, main, equal sign, apostrophe, and type the title of the chart. In this case, sex of the respondents. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the plots window, the graph will appear. You can right click the image to save or copy the graph. I encourage you to pause the video and create a pie chart for age and name the graph as age of the respondents. To do that, simply type the code pie. Open parentheses, table, open parentheses, data1, dollar sign, age, press the forward key, comma, main, equal sign, apostrophe, and type the title of the chart. In this case, age of the respondents. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. If you were not able to see the graph and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. Pie charts are typically used to tell a story about the parts to whole aspect of a set of data. That is, how big part A is in relation to part B, C, and so on. The problem with pie charts is that they force us to compare areas or angles, which is hard. This is why I highly discourage you in using this to describe your data. 
Third is histogram. A histogram is a bar chart for group numerical data in which you use vertical bars to represent the frequencies or percentages in each group. In a histogram, there are no gaps between adjacent bars. Histogram is commonly used to describe numerical data. The code below allows us to generate a histogram in our studio. Object 1 represents the column that contains the data of your variable. Breaks allows us to set the number of class or groups to be used. You can set the title of the graph by replacing title of the chart. Xlab allows us to set the label for the x-axis and Ylab is for the y-axis. Let's try to create a histogram using the proactiveness variable in data1. To do that, type the following code. Hist open parentheses data1 dollar sign proactiveness comma breaks let's set this one to 7 comma main equal sign apostrophe inside let's type the title proactiveness of the respondents forward comma xlab equal sign apostrophe score forward key comma ylab equal sign apostrophe frequency highlight the code and press control enter in the plots window the graph will appear you can right click the image to save or copy the graph I encourage you to pause the video and create a histogram for innovativeness. Set breaks to 5, name the graph as innovativeness of the respondents, and change the x and the y axis. To do that, simply type the code hist open parentheses data1 dollar sign innovativeness comma breaks equal to 5 comma main equal sign apostrophe type the title innovativeness of the respondents forward key comma xlab equal apostrophe score forward comma ylab apostrophe frequency highlight the code and press control enter again if you were not able to see the graph and you get some errors check the spelling capitalization and the syntax of your code Finally, let's create a scatter plot. Scatter plot is a useful summary of a set of bivariate data, which means two variables, usually drawn before working out a linear correlation or fitting a regression line. The code below allows us to generate a scatter plot in our studio. Object on x axis represents the variable to be placed on the x axis. Object on y axis represent the variable to be placed on the y-axis. You can set the title of the graph by changing title of the chart. Xlab allows us to set the label for the x-axis and ylab is for the y-axis. Let's try to create a scatter plot using the proactiveness 
and innovative nest variables in data1. To do that, type the following code. Plot open parentheses data1 dollar sign proactiveness comma data1 dollar sign innovativeness comma main equal sign apostrophe type the title scatter plot of proactiveness and innovativeness forward key comma xlab equal sign apostrophe proactiveness forward key comma y lab equal sign apostrophe innovativeness highlight the code and press Control enter in the plots window the graph will appear you can right click the image to save or copy the graph I encourage you to pause the video and create a scatter plot using risk taking and opportunity evaluation name the graph as scatter plot of risk taking and opportunity evaluation and change the X and the Y axis To do that, simply type the code plot open parentheses data1 dollar sign risk dot taking comma data1 dollar sign opportunity dot evaluation comma main equal sign apostrophe type the title scatter plot of risk taking and opportunity evaluation forward key comma x lab equal sign apostrophe risk taking forward comma y lab equal sign apostrophe opportunity evaluation highlight the code and press control enter again if you were not able to see the graph and you get some errors check the spelling capitalization and the syntax of your code this will solve most of the problem. That's how you create graphs in RStudio. Take note that there are other methods to produce graphs other than these functions such as ggplot2. However, that will be for another video. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something.